A moment in naval history. In 1908, Congress formally established the Navy Nurse Corps, and these 20 women were selected as its first members. The Navy made no provision for their room and board, so the nurses pooled their money to rent a house and provided their own meals. By the eve of World War I, the Corps had grown to 160. It was clear, however, that many more nurses were needed. During the war, the Navy deployed five base hospital units in France, Scotland, and Ireland. Navy operating teams, including nurses, were set up for duty near the front lines of combat. Besides sailors and Marines killed in combat, 19 Navy nurses lost their lives while on active duty, more than half to the deadly flu pandemic. Despite post-war demobilization, there were nearly 800 active duty U.S. nurses by December 1941, some stationed at the U.S. Naval Base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. When Japan attacked the morning of December 7th, these nurses were the first to be thrust back into war. Throughout the war, the Navy continued to enlist nurses, including the first African-American member of the Corps, Phyllis May Daly. Nurses were needed everywhere, including the front lines. Ensign Jane Kende was the first U.S. Navy flight nurse to perform her duties on a battlefield, helping to treat and evacuate wounded Marines from Iwo Jima. In Korea, many Navy nurses with World War II experience were called to active duty once again. In Vietnam, nurses not only treated sailors and Marines, but many times were called upon to provide care to civilians as well. Today, Navy nurses are deployed all over the world, participating in humanitarian as well as combat support missions. Their role has been the same since 2008, to be healers of mind, body, and spirit and ambassadors of hope.